When you think of European tax law, you might immediately think Brexit and the Common Consolidated Corporate Tax Base, CCCTB. But this year alone, we've seen two anti-tax avoidance directives, and there are two proposals currently working their way through the European institutions. Public Country by Country Reporting, CYC, and the Cross-Border Mandatory Disclosure of Tax Avoidance Transactions. Public CYC requires public disclosure of certain tax information and it goes beyond the current country by country reporting in our law and broadly it applies for multinational entities with a consolidated worldwide turnover of 750 million euro. The information to be publicly disclosed includes, among other things, details of subsidiaries, employees, assets, turnover, profits, taxes paid and whether entities benefit from certain preferential tax treatment due to patent box or equivalents. Therefore, anybody, anywhere, could see this information. Right now, this isn't a tax directive, which means that it can be voted in on a majority basis. And we've already sent a reasoned opinion to the European institutions, arguing that the proposal breaches EU law. The second proposal is a cross-border mandatory disclosure regime. And this is a tax directive, so it requires full agreement across member states for it to become law. Ireland already requires disclosure of transactions with an Irish tax advantage, where that advantage was a main benefit of the transaction, and where certain hallmarks are met. The EU version, that's different. It looks to transactions across member states and certain third countries. Its hallmarks go beyond ours and include arrangements where, for example, the same asset is subject to depreciation in more than one member state or country, or which don't conform to the arm's length principle. The issue of public country by country reporting is a sensitive one and goes beyond the base erosion and profit shifting proposals BEPS allowing suppliers and competitors access to previously confidential material. The former finance minister, Michael Noonan, said that Ireland couldn't serve two masters in the EU and the OECD. He argued staying with the OECD version, and in our view, that should continue. A similar view should be taken for the mandatory disclosure regime. Right now, we live in a world of increasing transparency, so we may well see versions of these proposals in law, particularly for mandatory disclosure.